on the takeoff. Lower bracket round number two. Who's out of the regional? Who moves on? We're about to find out and get underway. Shopify Rebellion, a much stronger group stage turtle than I think yep. a lot of people were expecting, at least myself included. Uh, I've been impressed by this team, and I know you in particular have been impressed by Rapid. Dude, Rapid, I, I'm telling you, he has the potential to be one of those players that you know gets talked about in the conversation of Justin, of Chicago, of First Killer. I really do believe he has that potential, obviously, with a new pickup of Parth and Arsenal right away off the backboard. Looked a bit similar to the Daniel double tap that we saw earlier on. That seems to be a routine play for Space Station Gaming. You don't want to give them that space if you are Rebellion. Don't let them have any options off that backboard. Uh, same goes for Space Station. Uh, looking back at Rebellion's game against G2, G2 were giving them just swaths of open space on the pitch, and it allowed them to connect on those hard passes that Re Rebellion are so good at finding. And when yeah. you talk about Rapid, he's the guy that you're usually looking at down the field. You see him up in the corner for a oh. shot, and he can really do some damage up there. So if Shopify Rebellion do get that little bit of space against Space Station or find ways to create it, that could be successful. Yeah, but the, the question is now, will they even have the opportunity to take that space? Because they might just be demoed on the field. We just saw Arsenal get the first demo, I believe, of this game so far. And that's something that Space Station Gaming have not changed at all. These They're still aggressive. They're still trying to get bumps and be as physical as possible. And now with the new pickup of Daniel, they've got even more potential uh, with those mechanics. So the question is, how do Shopify Rebellion respond? I think SSG, they know how they want to play, but for Shopify, they're going to have a little bit of, of work to do to figure that out. Oh, nice little po uh, pop there from Parth. He couldn't find the net. Ended up banging that one off the post. Parth has really came into this roster and has already created some value for Shopify Rebellion. He hasn't had to do too much. Not too much has been asked from him, but it's those types of shots that have been the value that he's added alongside with his rotations. Just feel like oh, Parth has played solidly. He hasn't been a flashy player, uh, mind you, but yeah. you need to be on this Rebellion team. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, uh, that's what I was talking about with Rapid. And, and of course, memory. I feel like a lot of people don't want to talk about memory just because, you know, he's been a staple in this scene for so long. But with memory, if he's taking a shot, memory has that, that striker precision. He knows how he wants to hit the ball, where he wants to hit it. If he's given one opportunity, he might make it count. Here comes Daniel with the first goal for Space Station. Yeah, Daniel gets this goal and Shopify Rebellion aggressive. You see Rapid went back for that midfield boost. Oh, and so he's just going to be a little wide getting back to that one. The midfield boost was not there. He had to come in from a very wide angle. And yeah. well, eventually Space Station found the back of the net turtle. And Jorbe, I remember you talking about Rebellion. Uh, they had a couple of issues with being over aggressive. You were discussing that a little bit more. And was that an issue that you saw, saw a lot from Rebellion, just pushing up too much with everybody? Well, I think it's. I think it just comes down to communication plus a willingness to just get down the field and, and get down the field as fast as possible. But a couple of the times you saw him get scored on against RBG yesterday in their first lower bracket round, a lot of it was third man getting the ball blown past their head. Uh, but they want to be aggressive. Parth, especially in that RBG yeah. game, was head hunting, trying to get demos, create some space. Uh, but Rebellion definitely more prone to that aggressive posture. Oh, nice little touch there from Arsenal. Drop it down to the midfield. But this is an opportunity for Parth off the backboard. He gets bumped Ooh. in the air and can't go for the double tap. I believe Arsenal got a piece of him, and that ruined a lot of the momentum going in for that follow up. Yeah, he had a really solid opportunity lined up, but Space Station, you're going to have to get over the player. Sometimes not good enough just to get to the ball first. Here's Parth off oh! the ceiling and just missed it off the post. That one's going to bounce out. Now Space Station down the other way. Rettles just launches it. Rapid has it handled. Oh, my goodness. That woke me up. I, I was sleeping a little bit because we've had some boomer ball, a lot of big clears, but then all of a sudden Parth off the ceiling. That could have been a rocket. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see it go in because I want to take another look at it. And then Rettles forced to make a defensive stop. He does find the touch. And Space Station Gaming, they're still with their backs against the wall trying to clear this out. Yeah, Rebellion trying to squeeze that ball through. Rapid stops them for a second, but it does back end up back in his corner. Still, Rapid keeps possession. Has a one-on-one, -on -one, drops it low for the 50. And that's actually going to give Space Station the ball back. Pass denied by Parth. Swinging back in Rapid to keep the push going for Rebellion. But a good stop on the Space Station counterattack and maybe a shot coming in. Memory blocked and it's back out to the side. And you could see what memory was going for, just looking for a 50-50 in that opportunity, maybe squeezing it into the midfield. 
Shopify have looked a bit better. They found their stride on offense, but still haven't received a goal or reaped any rewards yet, but we can surely expect that to happen soon. Memory again off the sidewall, looking to get a follow-up. And Space Station Gaming have just got to control this game for 37 seconds longer, and they will take game one. Yeah, maybe we won't see that goal from Rebellion trying to push down the field. But a, a couple of chances that they had, some quality Rapid, shots. There it is. One more from Rapid, and they finally find the hole through the Space Station defense. And all it took was this demo from Memory. He's hunting. He takes out Arsenal, and Daniel's forced to get a touch where maybe you would have thought Arsenal could get up and find a 50-50. But with that player gone, it's a free shot for Rapid. 25 seconds left. Better late than never. Now Space Station can't rely on their defense any longer. They gotta find some more opportunities. Daniel, nice little move to recover and move by by Rapid. Trying to get to that boost steal. And Daniel will battle every inch there to try to force that ball off of Rapid. Oh, He's not successful. But he does cut off the pass here. Here we go. Daniel, Daniel up high. He doesn't have enough boost for this. Down off the wall. Space Station, another chance before the end of regulation. Ooh. It's popped up. Daniel got that boost. He's got the touch. One more for Arsenal. Down in front of Down Red Bull. Down a red Target. That's Goal! It. Space Station with a zero second banger to close game one. And this is a new roster, but they're moving like they've been teammates for years. Check out the passing play. Daniel off the backboard. Rettles receiving the pass from Arsenal. That was so fluid. Everybody got a piece of it. Space Station Gaming deny overtime and keep their momentum strong. That was an excellent job withstanding a lot of yeah. rebellion pressure. We saw them really trying to close down the corners. It, they started taking almost every challenge in Space Station's corner to try to force that ball through. They did have some trouble finding the back of the net. But uh, uh, for me, Turtle, Parth had some quality opportunities. Like that one? That like one that one right there? <laughs> that one especially. That's the best look he had oh, the net. Man. Just couldn't deliver. I mean, if he could just keep up that positioning and stay aggressive, I would love to see it. But for me, Jorby, what made that buzzer beater so impressive was Arsenal's drop down pass to Rettles. Because in a situation, especially for these players, where you have to figure out what to do and whether or not you should go for the shot, the pressure is as high as it could possibly be. And for Arsenal to be selfless in that moment, drop it down to Rettles, knowing it's the best opportunity, that was veteran uh, decision making and something that we can expect from Arsenal but just because we expect it doesn't mean it's not impressive that was crazy from Space Station yeah it's funny a lot of players would say that Arsenal is an extremely annoying player to play against and uh, he's he's one player that I don't think a lot of other players do this too often but he will just jump in front of your route uh, if, if oh, yeah. he'll he, get in the he's way. on offense he'll just get in the way so you can't jump so his teammate gets a better look at the ball but he can beat you in every way any way that Arsenal could beat you, he can. He's just got that many tools. Yeah, and I love the story that has been set up so far from Shopify Rebellion just in game one. It, it, you know, we've seen Space Station Gaming come out with fantastic plays using everybody, but we've also seen a couple of chances from Shopify Rebellion. We know what they're capable of, like that part shot off the ceiling. Now, will it connect in game two? Ball given up. Arsenal chasing us down. And Rebellion getting set up. Parth has to let that go without any boost. Rapid also on low boost, but can only get that touch so far and Rebellion are back on defense. So Rettles looking for a double tap. Some mechanics getting pulled out of that player in specifically, or in specific, excuse me, Rettles has been uh, a force to reckon with and uh, something you have to be cautious of. I think now more than ever, maybe in the past few games and series we saw with their old roster, Rettles was a little bit more quiet, but now he's stepped up to the plate. Ooh. And there's Daniel with a shot. Space Station Gaming, they are waiting, ready to strike. Yeah, Rettles tournament so far, it's good for second in goals per game, only behind first killer. And I would say doing pretty solidly. Oh, yeah. With about 1.1 uh, goals per five minutes, if you will. Ooh. But look at Rebellion here. Again, really tight. Memory's going to get that boost steal, but Rettles is on top of him. So forces Rapid into a tough situation. He makes the first touch. Yeah. Rebellion got to wait for this one. Memory gives Rapid the space. And he gets that follow-up, but it's over to Rettles. And oh Park is out of position. Oh, he is able to get away with it. Bounces off the cross. Arsenal's there, again. though. Rapid couldn't get the save. Arsenal too strong. Everything about this play started with Rettles right there. That shot intercepting the pass, stopping the movement from Shopify Rebellion to go downfield. And that led into Rebellion panicking, looking to get back in position. But unfortunately for them, Space Station Gaming, they were swarming on offense. And they get the first goal yet again, Jorby. Here's Daniel off the kickoff and have to let that one go off the ceiling. 
Oh, and another give up. Oh. Arsenal in front. Gets underneath what? and it's awkward in front. Memory somehow got the touch. Memory can't get back to the ball, but Arsenal gave Rapid a free clear. Did you see that touch from Arsenal? That was ridiculous. I don't even know how he got a, a hit like that. He flipped a little bit early and then hit the ball with the bottom of his car. I don't think you can expect that. Somehow, some way, Shopify have held on, still trailing by a goal, but Arsenal's pulling out some wonky mechanics. Yeah, I'm not sure how you're supposed to read that last one. Memory gets over one attacker, but it still continues. Space Station bringing down the clamp on the Shopify Rebellion defense. One hard clear from Memory. He needs to hit Parth on this play Ooh. and try to keep himself stable with that flip reset, but the ball just kicked too far high above him. Oh. Rapid shaking that ball off of Arsenal did kind of cause his control to stumble a bit, but it didn't really do much for Rebellion because Space Station still in control. Here comes Daniel, Daniel by himself, slows it down for Rebels. Rapid in front of it. Oh, Rebels fixed him out. Memory on front of the challenge and Rebellion can breathe for about a second because here comes Arsenal. Yeah. Again, looking for Daniel and look at Space Station just cover the edges. Yeah. It takes a quick challenge from Rapid to finally break out. Space Station Gaming are incredibly spaced out. They are giving each other enough room to work with as that one almost slipped in. There's just been chance after chance that doesn't go past that goal line for Shopify. It looks good, but that final shot isn't powerful enough. Meanwhile, it's the opposite story for Space Station Gaming. And they're spaced out. I'm on Arsenal's POV right now. This man is so far back in the midfield waiting to get a touch, and he's not too eager to put himself and force himself in that rotation. But eventually, oh. you'll get more opportunities for Shopify. We just aren't seeing it connect, Jorby. Yeah, Parth tried to get it set up, but then Reynolds came back in on the rotation to take the opportunity away. Here's another one. Oh, Shopify demo. booming it downfield. Daniel not stopping the headhunt. He might even want a couple more, but that ball sails way above his head. Parth can Look get the, the touch, but he's got no boost, so it's going to be tough to chase that down turn. Well, and Daniel's so passive there. Parth expected him to go for a challenge, so he just boomed it into the corner, but Daniel was actually waiting in that corner for a boost. So maybe Space or Shopify, excuse me, are giving too much respect, it seems like, to Space Station Gaming, going for a big clear, expecting Space Station to be faster when in reality they're just being patient on this field. Well, and to Space Station's credit, they've also done a great job controlling the boost. Oh That's made goodness. these situations really uncomfortable for Rebellion. They've been starved for about a minute straight, working on almost small pads alone Ooh. for several of these touches. <laughs> Memory helps them out on an unfortunate challenge. Yeah. And that's a good lead for Space Station. And, and at what point do you do you just, you know, toss that one up and, and not think too much about it if you're Shopify? Because that bounced off so many different players and Rettles was the only player waiting for it in the midfield, got the reaction and was in the perfect spot, right place, right time for SSG. They got the security, 38 seconds left, another demo from Rapid. This could lead to something, but his boost gets stolen and now Rebellion, they're all in the same spot and can't seem to move out on offense. Oh, and Parth can't challenge. Daniel pulls off Rapid. Good catch to get it around the corner. But still, the approach is blocked by Space yeah. Station. Parth looking for memory. Uses a lot of boost to get that touch. This could be the start. But they need some time on the clock as well. And there's just no angle for Rebellion to work out of the corner. But to the corner, they keep being forced. And Space Station have won every bout in front of their box. There's another one from Daniel. Memory, yep. that touch isn't going to matter. Space Station one away from sweeping Shopify Rebellion. And what a frustrating game for Shopify Rebellion. There have been chances. There have been moments. Uh, that have taken our breath away, but nothing really slipping past the goal line and going into the net. Meanwhile, Space Station Gaming, they know how to take it to the defense of Shopify. And we're going to take a look now at the Mobile One high performance replays. You can see a lot of these situations. It's not lucky, per se, for Space Station Gaming, but like this pass right here, how did that even go into the midfield? It bounced off so many players. The only person ready is Rettel. Space Station Gaming know exactly how they want to play. It's coming right to them, and they just know how to execute here, Jordan. I mean, this is exactly th what we know Space Station to be, right? They are they selectively aggressive, but it, that passing game, and so many times able to uh, collect each other's passes. Yeah. But then when Shopify Rebellion, when they adapt to that, and now they are taking quicker chances, challenges because they have a little bit more boost well space station slow it down that ability to mix it up and yeah. keep shopify rebellion on their front wheels if you will for as long as possible because they don't know when the next time or when space station are going to slow it down again we saw how much in the mind they were when daniel just slowed down the ball in front of the box and then 
Michael yep. Reynolds slowed the ball down in front of the box. So Space Station are feeling very comfortable. Daniel has looked great so far against Shopify Rebellion. And the fact that Daniel is slowing it down as the new uh, player on this roster shows that he's calm and he's composed because players at this level will not look to go for mind games, will not look to go for a lot of dribbles if they're uncomfortable. Most of the time, the panic situation forces you just to go up for the ball and try to hit it as hard as you can. That is not the case for Daniel. He is relaxed, he's keeping his composure, and that's why this Space Station Gaming looks so rock solid on defense, because nobody is overextending. However, things could change. There are still moments, there's still possibilities for this Shopify Rebellion roster. I think it just starts, it's all about getting that first goal in Jorby, starting their momentum here. Yeah, how do they crack through the Space Station defense? Parth getting over memory or uh, probably getting the ball to memory. And now a little bit of space for Rebellion. Oh, good little back pass Ooh, from there memory. We go. Almost caught Reynolds backside, but he got the save. Reynolds getting deleted for his efforts. And still, Rebellion, they've been able to press Space Station, but converting chances, not so much as that one kicks down the field and they get another clear. A big clear from Rapid. We haven't seen downfield too often. Instead, he's the one getting those clears. Reynolds, look at all the space he's got. What's he going to do with it? Goes for the demo, gets one bump. Parth does find the save, but here comes Arsenal, ready to keep that possession forward. Clears, almost denied by Reynolds. That's not the touch he was looking for. And memory's going to take control. That's a big clear for Rebellion. They were losing their corner boosts. They were able to progress past midfield, and you see Parth with a full tank here. Gets it over one defender. But Space Station again, hard clear downfield, and Arsenal's oh, already ready what do you to got? It. Oh, block by memory, getting it back to the corner. Space oh, Station, man. Daniel got demoed on that play. Rebellion still can't break out. Arsenal's just waiting in midfield. Look at that high pop. Only Reynolds is getting to that ball. Parts yep. forced to come out off the back Here we wall. go, here we go. They get that touch, and then another miss from Rapid. That's the second pass he couldn't connect on. And that was the only opportunity we've seen where one player's downfield. Hold on a second. You give Daniel space, he might make something work. It is saved from Shopify. As I was just talking about, Rapid missing that clear downfield. That was the one chance we've seen where they're ready and in position. Rapid cherry picking, waiting to get the redirect, and he misses it. The one opportunity. Shopify, you don't get too many chances, and you've got to make them count. Parth finds Rapid back over. There it is. Oh, 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 or Parth, excuse me. Reynolds picked up another big save. He's had quite the series so far. Oh, Parth, man. quick pass, long pass to memory, laterally. Back over to Parth, cut off again by Reynolds. This dude just cannot, he can't not be in the way. Turtle, it's like there's two of them, and it's they just ridiculous. copied him for a fourth player on Space Station. I mean, the last thing I expected for Space Station Gaming was to turn into one of the better defensive teams that we are seeing so far in the scene, because with Daniel, you expect it all to be about their offense, but no, their defense has been so strong throughout the entire series. Daniel bumped off the play. Parth, another chance, despite how good Space Station have looked on defense and how many touches Rettles has come up with, they haven't scored. Yeah. Rebellion have kept themselves in it. There's another challenge from Rapid. Oh, what a, a demo. demo, that's it. Open up the space. He wants it back over to Rapid. Double tap up really high in front of the box. And that's going to kill the play for now. And that pass is not going to get it done, Turtle. You sound a little upset about that last one. I was play. on Memory's uh, cam. That should have been a goal. The demo came through. I don't know if there was a communication error where Memory didn't know there was going to be a demo. But if Memory was aware of it, the net was wide open. He couldn't get over the ball. Side flipped a bit. And they ended up wasting another opportunity. Here's SSG, though. Looking for some shots on net, forcing the defense to make a couple of stops. And we have come to a bit of a stalemate, both teams back and forth. But again, I, I just, I feel like Shopify, they're right there, Joby. They're right oh. there. They can't connect, though. Uh, they're so reliant on those passing plays connecting. And the few times they actually have gotten to a teammate downfield that hasn't been immediately challenged, Rapids missed the ball. Yeah. And th those are only two chances that we're talking about. But when you see Space Station cutting off every passing lane, it shut down what oh makes Shopify Rebellion goodness. any good. And Arsenal gets a nasty redirect with some power. And look at all of the space. This ball was floating all the way across. And it took several seconds just for one player. And that was memory to go up for a challenge. She was way too late. You're given one shot to Space Station Gaming. They're going to take it one to nothing as SSG look to continue the trend of the day and get a sweep. Up high, Parth. Still gonna try to make this push happen. Rebellion, they have not been afraid to dive in, to send the house, to keep the pressure up. Another challenge deep from Parth and Rapid. But the difference comes in who's winning those touches, and the answer has been Space Station so far. Could their fortunes change here? No rattles. 
wants to keep playing the no. same song. And a big miss what? from Rapid. He's got to oh, make up for no. it. He flips in front. Oh, no. Has it worked? Oh, no. He delivers a big one for Space Station. And Rapid, what is this touch off the sidewall? It doesn't bounce the way he expected. It didn't carry up the wall. And Rettles utilizing that flip in somewhat of a musty fashion. It didn't get the nice smooth flick, but you still got the power on it. Rettles. That is the way you secure game three and potentially end the series. Fitting for this series is Rettles has just been all over Rebellion. You could yeah. not get him out of the rotation. Oh, here you we go. Here we beat him oh. on these touches. That's and that's the second time it's bounced <laughs> off of that post. Not in the same spot, but it might oh, as well my be. Goodness. I, it, pain, absolute pain. <laughs> Shopify Rebellion, man. We've seen that several times off the oh. side ball or a side oh, ball. And then goodness. another one. It just goes across the net. They. They look like they're about to score. It just cannot connect for Shopify Rebellion, but Space Station Gaming, they're all over it, and they take the series win with a sweep.